the sweet redemption of it is that you come back in 1989 and you had a, a great season. 97 RBIs. I think a lot of people forget that you led the team that year. Yeah, I had a, a good year. DHing was a was an easy thing to do with Oakland as an offensive uh, team. You know, being DH of the year, I won DH of the year, and people don't even mention the fact that I I, I was DH of the year in '89 and uh, DH of the year in '90. You know, and uh, they they don't really talk about that that much. Well, shoot, I'll, I'll talk about it all day long. And, and look, at, here in 1989, now, you cut, you guys are coming back off of what was, you know, a devastating loss, but didn't lose an ounce of swagger. That's the way I describe it, and I think that is some of the veteran presence that Tony La Russa was talking about that you brought to the team. It was so fun, my dad and I talk about it all the time, to watch you guys walk out of the field. You, it seemed like you knew you were going to win even before the game started. Well, in 88, we uh, lost to the Dodgers, and we made up our mind after that game, that last game in 88, that we was going to come back and get what was rightfully ours. And uh, we we, let, we started that in the spring training, preaching that and reminding each other that that's why we were there. That's the mission that we were on. And uh, so we kind of carried that into the 89 season. And, we saw the results. In the first two games of the World Series, the San Francisco Giants have run into some tremendous pitching. Dave Stewart of the A's threw a shutout in game one. And Mike Moore in the Oakland bullpen did the job in game two. At the plate, punch has been provided by people like Dave Parker and Terry Steinbach. Oh, no kidding. Now, again, part of another very historic uh, game in the World Series, Game 3 in Candlestick Park. Take me to your feelings there as you're getting ready. You guys are up 2-0, you're in their park, and all of a sudden, what happens? Flash forward to the bottom of the fourth inning. Dave Parker barely, by inches, just misses a home run. Candy Maldonado with the hesitation, allowing Jose Canseco to score, and he fails to get Dave Parker at Second base, so the Oakland A's take. Take. I'll tell you what, we're having an earth. You know, when when it first happened, you know, you felt the the tremble. You couldn't. I was in the the clubhouse, and actually, it was so strong that you couldn't run. So I just kind of was standing there, just you know, shaking. And uh, when when it stopped shaking, everybody hit the door. And uh, the light came in the clubhouse uh, from, from outdoors, and everybody immediately started looking for their families. When we found our families, we brought them down in the middle of the field. What were the conversations like on the field at that moment? Well, you know, guys were looking around, and uh, the fans were cheering because, uh, you know, like, what a way to start a World Series. They didn't know the severity of uh, the quake at the time. And basically, we were in the same same boat as the fans, and uh, we were out there uh, looking for people's uh, families and uh, talking to uh, players about uh, uh, the fact that how much damage did the quake do, and uh, it was just one of those things of you know just trying to you know put your hand on uh, your loved ones. You know, people who grew up in the Bay Area, like myself, it, we're kind of used to, to earthquakes, and, and there was a feeling of, okay, maybe it's not that bad. Once you realize some of the devastation, uh, how did you guys get together, uh, and what did you say as a team? Because there was talk of even canceling the World Series, I know, for a little bit. Yeah, it was. Uh, we uh, stayed at home for about a week, and uh, we knew that we need to to get get our skills sharp and to maintain our skills being sharp and we went to Arizona for a couple of days and played uh you know simulated games and you know really really tried to stay sharp and make make some fun out of it that sounds like that was probably a pretty smart move just to get out of what was a very difficult situation in the Bay anyway and that you guys could isolate insulate into you know getting your mindset right because this was still a World Series and Sure enough, you came back in games three and four and uh, and finished the job. Yeah, when we when we got them uh, by the throat, we wouldn't let go. Well, yeah. So uh, we had uh, all of uh, the, the year before when the Dodgers uh, 
came back and beat us. So how sweet was that redemption in 89 when you felt like job completed, especially because you said it so clearly in spring training? Does that go down as one of your sweeter memories in Major League? Yes, it, it does. Uh, the first World Series and uh, 10 years later, uh, the, the American League World Series, I, I won one in the National, one won in America. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a thrill. I get chills every time I think of it. The A's, the world champs, and the deserved world champs. You did have some very, very good years there. And again, as an A's fan, I sincerely appreciate that and, and love to hear that it meant as much to you as it did to us. Yes, it was great. The opening fans are great.